What is going on guys? So here I am from the future. I've already filmed the whole video and everything for you. That's how I got the trailer, the truck, everything set up right here. Um, so first part here, I'm going to show you assembling this whole trailer that I 3D printed along with building the deck over, which is actually made out of paint stirring sticks I got from the hardware store. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to take the, uh, the Dually C10, which I printed wheels for, I'll show you again later in the video, outside with this thing on the trailer, do some wheeling, do a little Saturday expedition, and go from there. So take a look at this uh, assembly video of the trailer here, then we'll get to the wheeling part, and I'll come back to you guys after those clips. So, I built this trailer. Well, you know, let's, let's rewind a little bit. First, I got the C10, which I showed you guys last time. Um, I designed and printed some dually wheels for it, which turned out fantastic. And one thing that's cool about these wheels, too, is they're not even glued on. They actually, uh, the fitment is so well after I got the tires in and measured them that they stick well enough to the wheel where it doesn't even require glue. And I love that about them because if I don't have to glue tires, I'm not gonna, so I can reuse them on different rims and projects. But here we are, we got the C10, we got the dually wheels on. I think it looks awesome. Really fun project, really turned out amazing. But after that, I'm like, well, you can't have a dually without a trailer. And that was my whole plan from the get-go. So, we got the trailer. Now, trailer looks awesome. It does. It's pretty decent. You know, it looks pretty good. But the problem is, it is way, way overscaled for this little truck. It may not look like it in the pictures and stuff, but I'm just, I wasn't happy with it. It's too big. I wanted this to be relatively scale. I mean, you can see the gooseneck hangs about... Uh, an inch and a half over the roof of the truck. So, scrap that, took my design, and I scaled it all down a bit. So, got the new trailer base. I've gotta take the ramps off of this guy, put them on here, finish assembling that trailer, and uh, went over to the hardware store to get some paint sticks to make the decking for it. So, I'm gonna give you guys a little time lapse while I go through that, we'll get it hooked up, and uh, continue on with this project. Alrighty guys, so the camera stopped recording on its own. I hope you got all that, but basically the last thing I did is I just hot glued all these planks down. I think they look great. I gotta fix that. That ramp doesn't want to close all the way. Neither does that one, but that's okay. But I think it looks great. I think it looks fantastic with these uh, these paint sticks glued down to it. Went over to the hardware store this morning to pick them up, and they're actually free, I guess. You know, most people only need one or two when they're buying paint, but uh, hey, what can you do? So, got those on there. Now I'm going to do my best to mount up these uh, wheels. These are the stock wheels off of the C10. And I'm using these just because I have them, and also I think they, they fit the scale real well. Um, I'm waiting on bearings to put in the trailer still, same bearings that are going to be going in our tracks for sale here. But, you know, China shipping takes a while, so hopefully I'll see those in the next week or so. But for the time being, I printed some little bushings that should get us where we need to be. Alrighty guys, so here again is the old trailer. No more wheels because I put those on the new one, but you can see cardboard cover. It's a cool design, just too big for the scale of this truck. Also you can see the gooseneck just lifts right off, so when you go to back your Jeep off, it pops off. So let's get that out of the way. And here is the new design. We have actual wooden planks on there, just uh, paint stirs that I picked up from the hardware store. And I also made a modification to the gooseneck when scaling it down. If you watch, you tilt forward, push down, now it's clicked in. If I put weight on the back, it's actually going to lift up the truck as opposed to popping off. So let's take this thing out. Let's get the Jeep on here. Let's get some tracks on here and let's make a video. 
And real quick too guys, I actually designed the wheels for the truck off of the wheels of my real truck there. Hopefully you can see the similarities. I think I did a decent job. Clearly the real truck's not a dually, but hey, what can you do? Let's get it guys. Go for a little test run. Now it'd be really cool if I could make those ramps servo actuated so I didn't have to do this every time. But I suppose that'll work. Let's just get those ramps underneath the tracks here. There we go. Beautiful. Onto the glacier pass over here. Let's see if she can handle it. We got stuck. We're gonna have to do some grooming and try that again. Here we go for another run. Oh, and as you can see, did not go too well. We are pretty stuck here, so let's take the Jeep off and do a bypass check to see how we can get around this. And there is the culprit, guys. Get that out of the way, get the tires back on, and get the Jeep loaded back up. Alrighty, so we had to do a little bypass, but we are back in business on the pavers over here. Oh no. Roll over. Hate it when that happens. But again, nothing a little reset can't fix. There we go. Alrighty guys, so it didn't like the grass. I'm probably gonna need to add some weight in the front of that C10 and maybe upgrade that to a barrage motor as well once this one burns out. But let's see how it handles the rocks. Like a champ. Now the cool thing about this trailer too, is it actually does have functioning articulating suspension. Although it's not much movement, it is a cool little scale feature with the leaf springs I have underneath it. Off to the woods we go.
Now what's awesome about these tracks, and I wasn't even expecting it, is they're floating right over the top of these leaves here. No issues whatsoever. Six could be an issue though. Alrighty guys, so you saw, this thing performed great outdoors, you know, um, you know, I had a couple hiccups with going up the snow there and getting through the grass, but hey, what can you expect, this 24th scale, so I think that was an awesome experience, as you can see, we don't have three feet of snow anymore, we actually have none left, so the tracks, now, they're loosening up a bit with this warmer weather, it's actually uh, 45 degrees today, they float right over the top of those leaves, which is awesome, and I still think, even in the summer months, these things are going to perform excellent, so if you want to set, Again, I'll have these up. I know I've been saying that for probably two months now, but just waiting on parts, gotta print a bunch of stuff. A lot of work goes into these guys, so just wait patiently, I'll get them out there for you. Um, again, thanks for stopping by. Uh, I will also be selling these dually wheels here, which I'll put on my Etsy page, um, maybe even this afternoon. I'll put a link in the description, I'll edit it later, so if you watch this video early, it's not gonna be there, but I'll get that set up, I'll get that link down there, and if you're interested in a set of these, feel free. I think I mentioned it before, but these wheels here, 
They use the RC four-wheel drive 1.0 tires and they don't even require glue. The fitment is so perfect that the torque of the truck physically cannot spin the rim in the tire. So I think that's a huge plus too. Um, again, I'll throw that in the description maybe later today or tomorrow even. But awesome setup. Really happy with how it performed. A lot of fun. You know, really adds to the scale appeal of these little trucks getting out there, making a trailer, making a dually. I'm just really enjoying this project. So thanks again for stopping by. Um, I'll be posting another video shortly here with, uh, I don't know, maybe a new project, maybe a track update, whatever it may be. But stay tuned because there's going to be plenty more content. Thanks again for coming by. Also, guys, I forgot one thing. The files for the trailer will be linked in the video below. Um, to assemble the trailer, you just need some M2 by 10 uh, bolts. Some... What else do you need? Some M2 by 8 bolts and a piece of one millimeter rod for the ramps if you decide that you want those. All the files for that will be in the description below. Also, the files for the dually wheels. If you want a set of these for the RC four-wheel drive tires, I'll throw those on Colts too. Link will be below.